CF Express Type B media has finally made its way into Blackmagic cameras. The question is, what type of media, what brand of media should you go with? We might have a great solution for anyone in the market looking to buy CF Express Type B media. Before we jump into talking about media, a lot of you might be sitting there wondering, who's Nova Chips? Or I've never heard of Nova Chips, and that would be for good reason. Nova Chips in the camera memory sector is new, but they've been in the flash storage business for quite a while, since 2008. But they've acted as a business-to-business -business, uh, company versus straight to the consumer. So let's talk a little bit about CFast versus CF Express Type B and some of the reasons that we're personally really excited to finally see this change happen with their cameras. CFast, for those of you who are familiar, has kind of been the standard go-to media when cameras need higher resolution, higher frame rate, stuff like that. It's old at this point. In terms of technology, it's been around for a little while and there's some major drawbacks and limitations with it. The move away from it really was the only logical option for a company like Blackmagic with high resolutions and higher frame rates always coming out with new cameras. Some of the big drawbacks with CFast have always been the price point of it has been pretty steep for the price per gigabyte that you're paying. And then the other one is even though it has been the standard for higher speed in terms of read and write, in today's standards, it's pretty bad actually. And there's a lot of limitations when it comes to that, especially if you're shooting uh, higher resolutions above 6K. We've experienced these problems with CFast with the Ursa 12K multiple times. Anytime we've tried to shoot at a higher resolution, uh, 8K or 12K, higher frame rate, or anytime we've wanted to shoot a lower compression codec, the CFast struggles to keep up and sometimes it ends up having to stop the clip, stop the recording, and obviously that can affect production and affect your ability to do your job. In comes CF Express Type B. Obviously, this is not a solution to something like the Ursa 12K yet. Hopefully that's around the corner, but this really is a solution for the new Cinema Camera 6Ks, um, which is great. And it kind of fixes the two problems that we've had and annoyances we've had with CFast. So the first one is price. Again, these aren't necessarily cheap. Um, if you're looking for the absolute cheapest way to record with your Blackmagic cameras, that's still gonna be you know, external solid state drives. But for us, we've chosen to go away from that. Uh, I think having a media card in your camera is always gonna be a safer solution. This is much cheaper than CFast. Uh, in terms of price per gigabyte, and you especially start to see those savings and that price per gigabyte go down when you jump into the one terabyte and the two terabyte cards. That's the first one. The second one is speed. The speeds on these cards and CF Express Type B cards in general are lightning fast. They are way faster than um, any CFast cards that you can get out there, and they're gonna keep up with basically any resolution or codec that you throw at it, which is fantastic. So jumping into the two offerings that we have here, we have the Express series and we have the Extreme series. The Express series is really gonna be your budget-friendly option. Now, don't be scared away when I say budget-friendly, it is gonna be a little bit cheaper, but you're not making that many compromises in terms of performance because even the budget-friendly one, the Express kind of line, far outperforms any CFast card out there. So. In terms of what you're getting for read and write, you're looking at around 1,000 sustained write speeds on this and around 1,700 read speeds, sustained read speeds. Now, when you compare that to CFast, it's double and even triple what some CFast cards can do, which is amazing. If you just bought the new full frame 6K from Blackmagic, the Express Series is likely gonna be a great option for you if you're looking to save a few pennies. The price per gigabyte on this is gonna be really reasonable compared to CFast card. Moving on to the Extreme Series, the first and most obvious thing that you're gaining with something like the Extreme Series is you are gaining a little more write speed performance, sustained write speed performance over the Express. Specifically, you're going from about 1,000 to 1,650, 1,650 megabytes per second. For those of you who have ever looked into the data rates of the pocket cameras, the new full frame camera, the 6K, 4K, both of them are more than sufficient to accommodate those write speeds. I don't think they even exceed 500 megabytes per second, depending on kind of what codec you're going with. That's not really a deal breaker for the 6K full frame users, but 
you know, if you're looking for a long-term investment and maybe you're interested in buying something like the Ursa 12K or maybe an updated version of that in the future when Blackmagic releases that and you want to have the best of the best, the best possible right performance that you can get because you want to shoot high frame rate, really high resolution, well, then maybe the Extreme Series is a better option for you to go with. Uh, just because you have that peace of mind that you are getting the fastest right speeds out there. Now, the second thing in terms of differences and what you're gaining is the durability, and it's just the amount of data that can be written to these cards. Now, both of them are really high, and I don't think in most scenarios people are ever going to really hit it. You're going to have to use these cards for a long, long time for that ever to really become an issue. But if these are cards that are getting used day in, day out, then you know the Extreme Series might be a better option for that, just for that extra durability, that long-term durability. We did some testing, which in some ways seems a little silly to me, considering uh, both of the write speeds on these far exceed what the Blackmagic full-frame 6K cameras can even output, which is around somewhere between that 350 to 500 megabytes per second. You know, when you get 1,000 and 1650, it's not really gonna be a concern. But we did it just to test it out, make sure that there was no road bumps. The highest resolution, the lowest compression, and the highest frame rate with these, it had no problems keeping up, uh, recording at these low compression codecs, um, and it did a fantastic job. Now, this is specifically for the Blackmagic, obviously, there are other cameras that use CF Express Type B cards. And the reason that we're actually even doing a review specifically on these cards is they are listed as a recommended, not just approved, but a recommended media for those new full frame cameras from Blackmagic, which is really great that they've gotten that kind of stamp from Blackmagic. We've also been using these cards in the field for the last few weeks um, on real projects. And a lot of times we're not recording at the lowest compression rate because uh, there's a lot of projects where we don't want to deal with that amount of data. But we've had no problems with these shooting all day, never had any hiccups with it. There has been a little issue with the full frame cameras where when you go into playback it says no media detected but that's something that we have actually seen with the other brand cf express cards that we've also used so it's not something related to this i think it's actually something related to black magic and the software and just kind of a software bug that's there but overall we've been super happy we've had no performance issues these cards have worked really well for us in terms of pricing, you're going to be looking at around $330 for the Extreme 660 gigabyte and around $370 for the 2 terabyte Express series. Now, these prices can change and they always do with media and flash storage in general. Prices fluctuate a ton depending on the market and everything, but I believe that that's where these two prices are going to be starting. Sure, SSDs and, you know, USB drives, you can get a 2 terabyte for cheaper than that when you compare it to CFast again. Uh, you'd be paying all of that for a 500 gig. I think it's pretty reasonable. To wrap things up, you might be wondering if you've made it this far and you have that new 6K full frame camera, obviously that is a more budget friendly camera and the price that you can get into it. Why should you be buying CF Express versus continuing to use the solid state drives and the USB-C method? My take on it is this. We shot with SSDs for a while with the pockets. Uh, eventually we moved away from it. There was just a lot of risk involved for us. And when it came to paying clients, it was just something we didn't want to deal with. Now, we still use them from time to time for YouTube stuff. We'll use them just because out of convenience, they, they work. When it comes to the reliability and the safety, it's just really nice having media that's living inside the camera. It's safer, you sleep a little easier, you don't have to worry about bumping that cable or coming unplugged, uh, even when you're rigging it out right. CF Express Type B is clearly here to stay. We think it's worth it. I think that these are cards that we should be able to use for years and years to come with not just the cameras we have today, but future cameras too, which is really great. But if you have any questions in regards to these cards or media in general, please feel free to leave those questions in the comments below and we'll make sure to get back to you. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We have a lot of awesome content coming this year. Stuff with the warehouse renovation and our office renovation that we're excited to share with you guys as well as more gear reviews uh, and behind the scenes stuff. So with that, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. What's up, Time is flying.